Cedar Rapids, the state archaeologist is working to figure out exactly what a maintenance worker stumbled upon a few weeks ago. It turns out his find is just one of many hidden gems around Cedar Rapids that are just waiting to be uncovered. Fox 28 News reporter Kevin Barry, live downtown. Kevin. Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, it's like something out of a Nicolas Cage movie, and Interstate 380 plays actually a really big role in the story as well. The Iowa Department of Transportation worker was doing a routine check along some uh, along 380 on the other side of the roadway here when he found what looked like a sinkhole. When he started to look at it, he found what experts are saying is an old beer cave that was last used over a hundred years ago. It's hard to imagine it today. Uh, in fact, where some of these businesses are standing over here, they're standing on locations where some of the houses stood at one time. And then the brewery was located right over that way. That was the Magnus Brewery. People still find Magnus beer bottles all over the Cedar Rapids area even today. The DOT worker found what looked like a sinkhole. He said he could see stonework, stone archwork in the hole. Carl Mary is part of the team at the state archaeologist's office trying to map out exactly what's down there. Stouffer Hunter says it's one of a few caves used to keep beer cool before the operation shut down soon after Prohibition. After Interstate 380 came through in the late 1960s, construction workers found a similar cavern nearby. It's kind of fun to think that every day we drive down Interstate 380, we're driving over the old Magnus beer caves. Before 1970, it was common practice to just demolish an old building into its basement and build the new one right on top. So all around Cedar Rapids, there are many pieces of the past just waiting to be found. And there's a lot of buried history in Cedar Rapids. It's just under our parking lots, under our backyards, under our buildings. And it reminds us that history is always underneath our feet at all times. The industrial history of Cedar Rapids is, is long, and there, there's many great industrial stories there. The Department of Transportation says the uh, cave will likely be filled in with some kind of grain after the report is complete, but it does not pose any kind of risk to the roadway since the roadway is secured all the way down to the bedrock underneath Cedar Rapids. Silver Hunter says in the future, he just hopes that these kind of finds will be able to be investigated and explored just a little bit more.